Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to talk about Flock. Yeah. Federated learning of cohorts. I mean, you couldn't call it RAM or cookies or something cool. No, we got to call it federating learning of cohorts. Just ridiculous. Somebody's overeducated over there at Google. Let's talk about it. It's Google's attempt to replace cookies in Google Chrome. And the reason for it is supposed to be better for you. And it's a good idea in theory. Rather than showing you a simple ad, Flock will actually show advertisements to thousands of people who all have the same interests. It allows the advertisers to still see the effectiveness of their ads without tracking you individually. There are some questions about it. I'm going to show you this here. The Electronic Frontier Foundation. Check for the eye up in the top right corner or check the video description. Expand it for a link to our website. Right here, not convinced. It's an article and it's pretty blatant. Google's flock is a terrible idea. So as you can see, it's a pretty long article, so I'm not going to waste your time with it now, but it's pretty well written. So they're getting a good bit of kickback. Regardless, you may be a guinea pig and you may not know it. So here's what we're going to do. There's a website called Am I Flocked? Right there, amiflocked.org. All you gotta do is scroll down and check for the Flock ID. As you can see, a very small percentage of Chrome users are in the trial. Apparently you don't even know it. So regardless, as weird as it sounds, you may not be part of this small number, but it's on anyway, meaning you can flip the switch at any point and you're involved. So if you'd like to disable it, rather than change your web browser, Let's just click the three dots right over here and click on settings. Once you're in settings, look over there to your left. You see privacy and security. Click that. And if the name Flock, Federated Learning of Cohorts, wasn't bad enough, it's privacy sandbox in your settings. As you can see, trial features are on. More than likely yours are too. Simply click that. uncheck this right here blue means it's on gray means it's off you can get more details from Google if you want their opinion on how it works and compare it to the EFF statement we showed you earlier and that's it so once you've got that checked off there's no okay or anything else to do just close that tab out and once again close that tab out and go about your business and that's it that's how to get yourself out of flock I've had some people ask me about it my opinion I'm not sure this is gonna fly I think there's a lot of kickback for some big groups again including the EFF so that's pretty big uh, the brave web browser has already said they're gonna disable it any of the chromium based web browsers have the option to automatically disable it as well we'll see so some people hate cookies too so what's the answer I don't know is this it I don't think so I think this is going to be one of those ones Google's going to have to abandon ship on at some point. But they might just stick to their guns. So there you go. That is how to see if Flock is enabled and how you can opt out in Google Chrome. As always, at the bottom right-hand corner is the Major Geeks logo. We appreciate the new subscriptions. If we helped you out, we'd love a like. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.